Hey YouTube, well, go on. welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do some breaks. We're gonna do some packs. I'm um, gonna change the packs on this. Just the breaks, just the break pack we're gonna change on this. So we're gonna get started and how to do this. First you gotta jack the truck up. And this is a Cascadia. Right there. So it's a Cascadia, um, Fretliner Cascadia. And um, what I'm gonna do is change the brake pads on this so first thing first jack the chuck up get your jack stand you don't want the chuck to fall on you and we are gonna go ahead and start so we gotta take off the wheel so let's get started on that so make sure you up on your gloves let's get into it Safety glasses, safety first. somewhere safe sure they're not ripped so what you can do is wind is back off the pads first but I'm not gonna back um, back off the caliper first but I'm not gonna back off that first I'm gonna go ahead and take this part first so you guys can see when I back it off what I'm doing what I'm backing off when I pull this right here so this right here is supposed to have like a key right here um, and it torques a certain spec, so if you over try to over torque it, it will break. So, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find the key that I'm talking about. Okay. 
so this is what it looked like if you this is there to protect the um to protect the caliper so you don't damage the caliper so if you try to over tighten it this part will snap um i think i snapped one and we're gonna try and find it so when it snap it snap like this so as you can see that's how that worked so normally I guess the person that before me snapped one that's why this didn't have it when I take off the cap so it, it would normally sit right here so when I'm putting it back I'm gonna make sure not to snap it I'm gonna have it right here for the next guy to change so the next step what I'm gonna do is squeeze this in and take out this right here So you can go ahead and hold this. It flipped over guys. Try to set it back right. Also please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm just gonna hold it. Rotate it to where I can pull it out. some more somebody put silicone on it I don't know why So I got this clip out. Also, new clip, new clip come into the into the packet with the new packs. Go ahead, take this part off. And now we can just take this out. And again, you probably you should back it in first, but you can do it this way. So you kind of check the boot at the same time. So this normally like this. This come loose. <laughs> so just like that now I can hold the pads and pull on the pads so the pads don't want to come off but I'm going to back it off anyway but the reason why I take it off like that so, so I can check the boot at the same time make sure the boot is not ripped make sure this is loose Make sure this boot is not ripped also. Make sure that is loose. So now I'm gonna back it off and you're gonna see that this is gonna go in. As you can see that the boot is not ripped. So now I'm gonna use my key to um, back it off. So this is what I'm talking about. Also it's 10 millimeter. When you feel it's getting tight, you want to stop right there so you don't break the key. I'm going to stop right 
there so I don't break it. You can see that it's gone in. Now we can just take out our pads now and see how low the pads are. So I changed the other side already. I'm gonna show you the pads on the other side. So that's for this side. This is the pads for the other side. As you can see, it's like gone, gone. It's almost go metal to metal. So, um, so far, we just need to clean the surface. Also, you want to make sure the caliper is sliding back and forth smoothly, which this one is. You want to clean the surface. You can clean with a flathead screwdriver or whatever you have to clean it, a sandpaper or whatever, and make sure the caliper go back and forth like that. So this one going back and forth, so that's good. And um, make sure also this boot down here is not ripped. It's like a closed system. Once no moist or anything going in the inside, you good. And your, your your disc is not worn too thin, so it's good. So this is inspect too. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it as much as possible, and then I'm gonna put the other pads back on. one and the bottom one also so once you clean both of them clean it real good you can pull the caliper and clean on the other side clean the other side so um you want to clean the other side you want to clean both sides so when you time to put the new pads in it's not gonna it's gonna go in easy it's not gonna fight you ready to put the new pads in but well, on the new pad we got to do something to the new pad before we can put it in so let's get that so guys we have our new pad right here you can see how thick that is compared to the old pad so yeah so on the new pad we need to put something on it that kind of, it's an anti-rattle clip. It kind of holds the clip, all the pads from rattling around. So this is it. You just hook one side on, just like that. And then you just make sure the hole is lined up with the other notch right here. And then you just push down on it and it will snap right in place. Just like that. Go to the other one. Just like that. Now our pads ready to go in. Alright guys, so now it's time to put the pads in. I kinda like hold this. Put this right here to like hold it. Show you where I put this right here. That's where I put it to like hold the um the pads. Hold the caliper out to slide in the pads I should say. So once we get that done, we'll hold the caliper. Just want to wiggle the pads in there. And 
the seat properly you can let it go so that's good now you want to do it to the other side right here just wiggle it in just like that now what you got to do is get this right here and just put it on just like this once it's on like that you want to get another thing which is this which we get a new one in the we get a new one in the in the in the brake kit so we're going to put a new one on so the next thing i want to do guys is this is the new one put that in there push it on on it this new So I might have to block the camera. It's kind of hard to put it in. Yeah, you just need to push on it, and it will go. Zip and it will go in like that. So push it on on this to make the whole line up. Slide that in. Get this. Slide this on get this the hole is not lined up but that's simple you can just hold it at the top and turn it around so now that's it So the next step, you want to get also new keys come in the in the in the um in the in the in the brake kit. So if you break it, it's nothing. You have a new key to put use. So um, what you want to do now? Get a um get the key, put it back in. So you want to go till it's tight. So now mine is tight. If I go anymore, I will break it. But I'm not trying to break it. So once that once it's tight, I can't turn the wheel. So now what you gotta do is take three clicks off. So listen. One click, two click, three click. And that's it. So guys, after you get your clicks off, the clicks box, you just go ahead, leave this in it for the next guy. And then you're gonna have your cap right here. Put your, put your cap on. Come on now. Hardest the cap ever need to go on. There you go. So I guess you have two different type of caps. You have this cap that's a little bit smaller than this one. So you can fight in the put on a cap like I just did. You just put the other one and you should be good. And now you double check your work. Make sure you have both pads in. And now it's just time to put on your tires and that's gonna be it guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and let's grow.